Stubby was a small terrier found wandering the grounds of Yale University campus in New Haven, Connecticut in July 1917. At that time, members of the 102nd Infantry Regiment were training. And one soldier in particular, Corporal James Robert Conroy, took Stubby in and began to care for him. When it came time for the regiment to ship out to France to fight in the Great War, Conroy hid Stubby on board the troop ship. He stayed well hidden until one day he was discovered by Conroy's commanding officer. It looked like there was going to be big trouble, but Stubby saved himself by performing his favourite trick. He saluted the officer by raising his paw, as he'd been taught by Conroy. Stubby was allowed to stay and became the regimental mascot. Stubby's keen senses proved invaluable on the front lines. He could hear incoming artillery before human soldiers could, warning them of attacks. During one gas attack, Stubby alerted the troops by barking and biting at their gas masks, potentially saving many lives. After this, Stubby learned to recognise the smell of gas and served as an early warning system, becoming essential to his regiment. In addition to warning of gas, Stubby had a knack for finding wounded soldiers on the battlefield. He would locate them and bark to alert medics, sometimes staying beside soldiers to comfort them until help arrived. His bravery even extended to capturing a German spy who was mapping out Allied positions. Stubby's barking attracted soldiers who apprehended the spy, and some legends say he held the man captive by keeping a firm grip on the spy's bum. For his courage, Stubby was promoted to the rank of sergeant, making him the first dog to receive a military rank in US history. By the end of the war, Stubby had participated in 17 battles, earned numerous medals, and became a beloved member of the 102nd Infantry Regiment. After the war, he returned to the US as a celebrated hero, and in the ensuing years even met Presidents Wilson, Coolidge and Harding. He led military parades and attended law school with Conroy. Stubby passed away in his sleep in March 1926 and was preserved via taxidermy with his cremated remains placed inside. In 1956, Conroy presented Stubby to the Smithsonian National Museum of American History where he still stands guard as part of the Price of Freedom Americans at War exhibition.